Hello, and welcome to another episode of Movie Spoiler Alert. Today we're talking about the 1992 alien horror film, Aliens 3, so let's get started. The spoiler does require in part that you've seen the previous films. If you need to see a spoiler for them, check out the links in the cards above. The film starts with a fire aboard the spaceship Sulaco, the one from the previous film. Escape pods are launched, and a scan shows that a queen face hugger has attached itself to one of the crew members. The pod land on a prison colony, with the inmates having violent histories. Ripley awakens from her cryostasis, and meets Clemens, the doctor, who informs her that she is the only survivor. The prison warden, Harold Andrews, warns her that her presence amongst the male inmates might cause some disruptive effects. Ripley insists that an autopsy be performed on the dead girl Newt to ensure that she is not killing an alien embryo. However, no embryo is found. The others from the escape pods are cremated. We see an inmate get attacked by a facehugger, and later we see an alien burst from his chest. The alien begins to grow and kills several prisoners. As Ripley tries to salvage the android bishop from her destroyed pod, four inmates attempt to rape her, but another inmate named Dylan intervenes. Ripley then reactivates Bishop, who confirms that the face hugger was aboard the skate pods with them. She then informs Warden Andrews of her experiences with the aliens, and suggests that everyone work together to kill the alien. Andrews doesn't believe her, and explains that the facility does not have any weapons, so they should wait for the rescue ship from Ripley's old company, Waylon Yatuni. The alien appears and kills Clemens, but spares Ripley. Ripley uses a scanner and discovers that the queen alien is growing inside of her. She realizes that her former employer, Waylon Yatuni, just wants her back so they can use the queen alien for weapons purposes. She begs Dylan to kill her in order to prevent the queen from being born, but Dylan says he will only do it once they've killed the other alien. Ripley rallies the inmates to kill the alien by leading it into a trap to pour molten lead onto it. Through a series of events, Dylan sacrifices himself to hold the alien in place long enough so the alien can be covered in molten lead. The alien begins to escape, but sprinklers are activated, causing the metal to rapidly cool, shattering it, and killing it. The Wayland Yatuni team arrives, with a man who looks exactly like the android Bishop. He states that he is Bishop's creator, and wanted to be there as a friendly face to Ripley. He tries to convince Ripley to undergo surgery to remove the alien inside of her, saying that it will destroy the alien. Ripley doesn't trust them and refuses, and positions herself over a furnace, eventually jumping in. The facility is closed, and the only surviving inmate plays Ripley's recording from the first film. So that was the spoilers for Aliens 3. If you have another film you'd like to see me spoil, please let me know in the comments below. Check out movie spoiler alerts on our various forms of social media, and remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.